This is beautiful Prague and that is the famous Starbucks coffee. But I guess you clicked on this video for a different reason because you want to see some cool coffee places, not the ones that are same all around the world. And that's what I'm here for. Right there across the street is actually a coffee place I've been walking past for every single day I've walked on the square and I never noticed it because it's hidden. So let me show you. This place, this coffee place, Oliver's Coffee Cup, remained a secret to me for a very long time throughout their entire existence. Because if you look at the place where we are from the outside, all you see is just some advertisements. I mean, some of them are for this coffee place, but I sort of have like a blindness for this thing. There's so much of it, I don't see any of it. But lucky for uh, preparation for one of the previous videos where I was going through different Google reviews, I actually came upon this place and I think it's great. They they have great coffee, Hans, I got a cappuccino. They have some sweet and like a bistro snack, so if you're hungry, you can grab something. But mainly, they're on the first floor of our almost largest square in the city, Wenceslas Square. So you have a great overview of what's going on. You can do some people watching. You can uh, look at or admire uh, the National Museum, the statue of St. Wenceslas, and uh, there's a little library where you can grab some books. For example, Rick Steves' Guide to Prague that is completely outdated, so please don't follow it. We're heading from the new town to the old town, but as we walk, I'd like to point out one more coffee place that the frequent viewers already know. It's in the Bookshop Academia, but it's more of a summer place because you can sit on the terrace on their little balcony. Old town, that way. We are steps away from the Old Town Square and we landed in this tiny little cute coffee place that I actually found by accident when I was uh, chasing some scammer in this tiny little street as he was trying to get lost in these little streets. And as we're running here, I noticed, oh wow, this is a nice little coffee place with a nice little garden and chairs and tables outside. I gotta visit someday, which is what I eventually did. The name is Artisan. I call it uh, the coffee place on the intersection. So uh, we just walked in with Honda, got ourselves some coffees and also a cheesecake. And as we actually sat down, there were a bunch of tourists sitting here and they said, you're the guy from the internet. You're the one showing all the scams. And I said, well, I also show nice places. And so the girl said, so it means that we're in a good place. And I said, well, it's either a scam or a good place. Nothing in between. It's a good place. You know what I like about this kind of coffee place? That when you order a coffee, you don't need to say venti, tol, or grande. You just order the coffee. They know what the size should be. It's not up to you. That's why they, there's different names for coffees, because somebody already came up with the idea of different sizes. That's why they named the coffees differently. I hope you like the lovely coffee place and it is actually placed in a very interesting building from the 13th century. It has been rebuilt multiple times, but up until 18th century, partially, it served for ball games. Well, how do I know that? There's actually a symbol of three rackets and some balls. Uh, so it's not the house by the tennis rackets, but it's a house that used to be for ball games. Not anymore, now it serves for your lovely coffee, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And there's one more addition that I'd like to point out here, and that's uh, when you look at the street sign here, which is Vejvodova, the name of the street, there's actually a blue sign that will explain you why the street is named like that. Unfortunately, it's only in Czech, so you'll have to use uh, one of the apps that we recommended on the previous show to have it translated so you will understand what it's about. And it's not only on this street, it's on uh, many streets around in the city center of Prague. We've shown you a coffee place in the new town, then in the old town, and now we're crossing the Charles Bridge to the lesser town. And once again, it's a place I've been walking past almost every day, and I didn't know there is a coffee place until my friend told me, hey, why don't you show this place? It's cool, it's in the inner block, it's kind of hidden, not too many people go there, you should share its location, which is what we're gonna do right now. This place that I'm about to show you is called L4 Café because it's on the street Lazenska 4. And I've only been here once this weekend. Therefore, I didn't know they are closed on Tuesday, which is today when we're filming. 
you better check that before you go somewhere. But I mean, it doesn't really matter because we can at least use this time before they open up to thank our longtime partner and sponsor, which you know by now is Surfshark VPN, a service that we use quite often, especially when we need to access website or content that is geo-blocked because Surfshark VPN will give you an IP address that is located anywhere around the world. And not only me and Honza use it, also our viewers use it. Just recently, a guy from the Czech Republic, our viewer said, guys, great service because I actually moved for a year abroad brought to a country where I couldn't access the Czech TV channels. So I had to use Surfshark VPN to actually watch what is going on in my home country. And you can do so as well. You can do it on 100 devices simultaneously. I don't think you have 100 devices, but if you want, you can. And if you use our code, which is Honest Guide, you'll get 83% off and three months completely free just by clicking the link below or using the code. So thank you Surfshark, and we're gonna move not virtually, but literally from Tuesday to Thursday when this place is opened. Ah, it's a push. I think out of all the coffee places we're showing you today, this one is, I'm not sure if the youngsters still use this term, as the most hipsterish, uh, very fancy on the inside, uh, brand new. It's been here only for a couple months and the way they serve you coffee on this little plate, I'm sure uh, will make your Instagrams happy. Also, the one thing I admire the most here actually, is there a spoon, which uh, if I understood it correctly, is from an old, pipe uh, that they recycled into this shape or something like that. Uh, anyhow, my friend pointed out this uh, coffee place to me. Uh, she's been here in the summer and she uh, found out about it because she used to visit a coffee place across the street that we actually recommended and she saw that this courtyard is opened. So uh, as a brave discoverer, she walked in and discovered this place for us. Now oh, that's a good coffee. I had a bit of a small talk with a barista here and he said uh, within the couple months they are here uh, that he was surprised that many locals that live around here actually uh, come here. And he was surprised that many locals live here, many Czechs uh, to put it this way because you know this is very touristy area. So I would just like to point out that the lesser town that we're in this part of Prague uh, to me is sometimes like a small village. There's many Czechs living here and they all or most of them know each other. Uh, so I like this area very much and I like to visit the venues here. So to sum it up, what I've been saying is that I really like lesser town Malá Strana. So if you want a recommendation also where to stay in Prague, where to pick a hotel, I would recommend this place. So I hope you uh, enjoyed today's episode and that you're gonna put these coffee places we showed you on your to-do list or to-to-visit list uh, when you come to Prague. Let us know if you want to see more coffee places. I try to discover uh, new places uh, all the time, as many as possible. And when I'll do so, I usually share it with you. Now, you may be wondering why I'm standing uh, on this track in the middle of the street. Well, there's a unique event happening in Prague and that is the street being reconstructed. Therefore, you can stand in the middle and admire the beautiful church here on the lesser town, the St. Nicholas Church, which normally you can't because it's a busy traffic place here. Well, when you come to Prague, this will all be done and you will have to be on the sidewalk. Till then, bye-bye and I'll see you on Sunday. At the end, I always teach you a Czech word. This time it's if you like to drink your coffee with cream. So how to say cream? It is smetana. Smetana is cream. And in the Czech version of this video, I was making a joke on this because smetana is also a name of a famous Czech composer that was hanging on the wall in one of the coffee places. And the sign said, if you want cream, smetana, it's right here.